Early on Sunday morning, as the new day was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went out to visit the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven, rolled aside the stone, and sat on it. His face shone like lightning, and his clothing was as white as snow, and the guards shook with fear when they saw him and fell into a dead faint. Then the angel spoke to the women. Don't be afraid, he said. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He is risen from the dead, just as he said would happen. Come, see where his body was lying. And now go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead and he is going ahead of you to Galilee. You will see him there. Remember what I have told you. And the women ran quickly from the tomb. They were very frightened, but also filled with great joy. And they rushed to give the disciples the angel's message. And as they went, Jesus met them and greeted them. And they ran to him and they grasped his feet and worshiped him. Then Jesus said, don't be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to leave for Galilee and they will see me there. Jesus is risen. He is risen indeed. That is the passage that we're going to meditate on today. And so I want to encourage you, whether you're using our workbook or just a notebook, get with this passage, read it slowly, read it carefully, look at every single word of the glory of Christ's resurrection and ask the Holy Spirit what he wants you to know. Ask him to reveal himself through this passage. Ask him to show you what you need to know about your relationship with him and what he's calling you to do. You have a purpose in this life. You have meaning in this life because Jesus is alive and he wants to show that to you. So get alone with this passage today. Go through the five steps of experiencing the word. If you don't know them, there's a, there's a link here in the YouTube video, or if you're watching somewhere else, you can go to experiencingtheword.com and get a video of what those five steps are. But get alone with God today. Don't let this just be about getting dressed up and having ham and celebrating. We are to celebrate, but let's keep our focus on the miracle and the grace and the mercy of God that he has conquered the grave. Father God, we thank you that you are a God who has conquered the grave. And because the grave had no hold on you, the grave has no hold on me. It's hard for us to even grasp your glory. But I pray as we go through this day that you would keep ever present in our mind. And as we meditate on these passages today, that you are glory, that you are holy and that you are a merciful, grace-filled God who reached down into our sin and plucked us out into safety. We give you praise and we give you glory because you are worthy of praise and you are glorious. Thank you for a risen Savior. In the name of Christ, amen. Thank you for joining us for this study. I can't believe it's been 40 days. For some of us, it's been 40 days. Some of you joined us on Palm Sunday, and that's okay too. But um, many of us have been preparing our hearts for Easter for 40 days, meditating on God's word. And we will continue uh, next month. Next month, April 8th, we will continue with a new study on our identity in Christ so that we can fulfill that purpose, fulfill that meaning that he has for our, our lives. So thank you for joining us. Happy Resurrection Sunday. He lives. God bless.